Serious talky time. No, it's going to be serious now. Sit down, Thomas. Serious talky time. Holding on to hatred for anybody that you don't like is toxic to yourself and incredibly unhealthy and in the long run will just damage you. I've learned this. Uh, I think I've learned this the hard way. Uh, there's like three people that I think I truly despise. I would even go as far to use the word loathe. And, um, but now I've come to the to my senses. To the, it's very easy to not care. It's very easy to not care! The trick is to not care. That's easier said than done, and I, I don't think anyone, or, uh, anyone, not anyone, but everyone is capable of doing it, but I am. I'm capable of just deciding not to care about something, or someone, or a subject matter. And it's a very helpful thing to do, to just not care anymore. So if there's somebody toxic, or a toxic thought, or you have any toxic feelings towards something, choose not to care about that anymore. It, it, it's incredibly liberating, and I feel more revitalised for it. Um, however, as I say this, I'm going to say one more thing. Thomas, are you listening? Uh, not mental. Um, that would be a lie. I'm just mentally unwell. No, but seriously, let's, um, talk more philosophy for a moment. I was talking to my wife earlier today about something that I find truly fascinating to the heart. Um, I do actually think, I was thinking about the way the economy works. I'm not really educated in this. I'm not up to date with any of it. I've only read briefly and I'm just applying my naive viewpoint on this thing. And that is... What if on a global scale all the leaders and all the countries adopted a socialist body, you know, instead of um, relying on some form of, ch like, the trade that they rely on at the moment, where I think the dollar's, like, the biggest currency. But anyway, if they all traded with each other and they were all more socialist to each other, the leaders, you could then have an eternal economy in which you can adopt the pros to capitalism and have trickle down economics. So by that, I mean that every country would have their own currency, and that would be used as a form of trade and control and a sense of order to make sure that we don't just go full anarchy and I don't stab someone for their cow and instead I pay for their cow. But because it's eternal economics, you can handle it better. And it would, be, it would kind of be meaningless, but it would be meaningful to us because we're using it as a form of trade and reward. But you could also look after everyone that way. And when it comes to materials for the outside trade, that would just come for free. In a way, not free, but like swapping, like socialism, like, you know, um, looking out for each other, growing each other, growing veg, 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 vegetables for each other. I don't know, as I think about it, actually, I'm not too sure how it would work. But the thought's there, you know? The thought's there. Um, it's really fucking hot today. I thought I'd just do like a vlog, you know? Let's <laughs> do a vlog. There is vlog. While I wait for Bella. She's downstairs chatting up my mum. Uh, they're probably having sexual intercourse with each other. Um, I caught them once, sniffing each other's toes. That is a lie. It's an abhorrent lie, and I apologise. And I'll punish myself for it later. But not yet. Yeah? Look at my shorts. Why isn't they? My shorts. Yeah, I'm actually going to get some paracetamol. I have a slight headache because of this heat. Yeah. Big time, big time. Shh, shh. Don't say anything. Just slightly. Shh. 